Hey guys, it's that time. Pick a story where in one of the decks or all of the decks could be a story or a message for you. Uh, so what I'd like for you to do is to pause the video, take a moment to see which deck is resonating with you. And we'll go ahead and begin with deck number one. You have the Emperor, the Page of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Page of Wands, overall energy, King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords and Eight of Cups. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know. I kind of feel that maybe someone has been um, feeling lonely and maybe thinking about giving something up. Um, maybe giving up a relationship or a job or um, just feeling a loss of hope. And it's like, I feel like clarity comes, then goes. <sighs> or it seems like you, if you're waiting for responses, you receive responses, but um, it's not the response that it, that you need or that is helpful. Um, or by the time you get answers, it's like too late and doesn't apply anymore. Mm. I feel that someone's thoughts are also fragile. And I don't know, this could be the energy of someone around you. Um, or maybe somebody that's been thinking about you. Could be an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I've got some every sign out. So it could be air or a water sign, or a fire sign. Now, another thing that could be going on is something in regards to uh, your finances or your health. Mm, it just seems like maybe there is some sort of anxiety there or like maybe you feel trapped or stuck in a situation like you haven't figured out how to overcome some sort of challenges in your life. And it does seem like these, you're surrounded by these negative thoughts. Now, uh, because there are so many people or court cards coming out, um, maybe it is something about the people, the company that you're keeping, um, the people that you're surrounding yourself with. Maybe these people um, either have negative thoughts or they're just going through something, but you know, you can't help but to kind of pick up on that energy or feel it and it might be bringing you down as well. Uh, it also could be that there's something that you're wanting to do, but everybody around you is unsupportive and telling you, you know, certain things that make you feel like you don't have any control or like there's nothing you can do. Mm. Now, another thing that I was thinking about when I saw the cards coming out is uh, something in regards to interrogation. 
So I don't know, maybe you feel interrogated or maybe you really do uh, do that for a living or, you know, that's happened to you before, just being interrogated by um, police. Mm. It could also be that you're just watching a lot of police or FBI dramas um, with interrogation in it. In a love situation, maybe someone is having a hard time letting you go or like they can't stop thinking about you or vice versa, but it does seem like someone's thoughts are stuck or frozen. Mm. Hmm. Now this is usually about mental energy, but it could also be someone's physical body is holding them back. I don't know if you've been injured and you know, maybe I don't know if you have a cast or maybe you've been dealing with some sort of um, uh, pain, uh, any type of issues, even if you're young, maybe there's something going on with your joints, um, things that are keeping you locked down it just seems like there's a lack of freedom now you are like going through some sort of a transformation too you you might be seeing synchronicities of eights um but i feel like you could be going through some sort of um evolution and it's it's just something that is difficult it's a difficult process but I do feel like you're going to come out uh, renewed. Mm. Yeah, and if things are difficult for you, it, it could be because you are like uh, in darkness. You're in that cocoon state. You're confined by, you know, even if it's some invisible force around you that you're confined by. Um, it's because you're having to uh, transform in some way and then you'll be released. And it does look like there is some sort of renewal or new beginning for you. And it could be coming soon. It also looks like some opportunity is available to you, but it's like you can't see it or you're not ready to see it. Mm. Hmm. Now I'm getting something in regards to like a literal like magic wand. I don't know if you make those. Um but I don't know, maybe you are, you have a magic wand that you bought or someone gave to you, or maybe you make them yourself. Or maybe, you know, you have like a crystal and you attach something to it. Um, and maybe that's something that you use. I do feel like things are going to get better. It's kind of like, you're shedding old skin. So now I'm also kind of like getting the image of like how a, a snake like sheds his skin and you know comes out all shiny or whatever and then you see like that old gross skin that's like left behind. So I kind of feel like something's going on where you're shedding. Um, so if you're going through some sort of a difficult time, I feel like it, you know, you're going through some sort of a transformation and you will come out renewed. Um, hmm. There may be something significant about this fire sign. Maybe they're going to inspire you in some way. 
Maybe you had to let go of an earth sign. And then there's something about a fire sign that's going to bring in like this new energy into your life or bring out um, your creative side or bring out some sort of passion that you've been holding within. Now, also, you might have some sort of gift that has been um, suppressed and there's a possibility that something's going to awaken some sort of gift of yours. Yeah. And it could be if you're wondering like the purpose of someone coming in your life, if it wasn't meant to last, I kind of feel like that was so that they could awaken that gift. Like a lot of times, you know, these awakenings or transformations usually happen because of some sort of pain. Um, I don't know why it has to be that way, but usually it is. Um, so I feel like you had to go through that painful transformation so that you could change. It could bring about change. Now I'm hearing King Richard, so I don't know if that is like a movie that inspires you. Or if someone's name is Richard. You also could be dealing with a loss of uh, freedom or independence. Somebody also might be thinking about their father a lot. Um, or feels restricted or burdened by their father, father figure or baby's father. Career-wise, if you were or are uh, self-employed um, or independent, something seems to be going on with that where maybe you feel um, let down or disappointed um, in your business. It does seem as if you're going through some sort of blockage. Also, whatever is you're having to deal with is uh, karmic. Um, it's like you're receiving your karma so that or you're balancing your karma. So you're having to experience certain things um, so that your karma will be balanced. Maybe you have to pay off some sort of a karmic debt. Um, Maybe, you know, suffering is just part of your karma so that you can evolve. Um, but I, I do feel like something's very karmic. Mm. Hmm. You also could be secretly disappointed in your father, father figure, baby's father. For some of you, this could be about going through some kind of divorce. Hmm. Now also, someone could be in the right, but they're still having to suffer. 
like someone innocent being in jail. You also might feel that a lot of people have betrayed you or a lot of people have let you down. Mm. Hmm. I don't know if someone's, someone calls you sensitive. Somebody gave birth to a child, but it feels like betrayal. Like, I feel like it's not the child's fault, but maybe this child is like a product of an affair or something. hearing the name Daniel for somebody. You also may have kind of like, in a sense, put someone in jail. Um, but, you know, verbally or by your actions and it could be that you're bringing something up every time you have the chance to and this person is like you're never gonna let me live um, without you know forgetting about that or and you're just like no I can't so I don't know I kind of feel that maybe you are making someone feel bad every chance you get or vice versa. Someone that has not let go. Mm. Now, I also get a situation where maybe someone is off the meds and probably trying to adjust. I don't know if this person was trying to just like heal holistically or if there's a financial situation going on or just some situation that's preventing someone from having their meds. Um, so I don't know, someone might need their medicine. Yeah, there also could be some sort of a blockage going on. I feel like someone is having a hard time embracing uh, changes that have happened around them. It's like everything has changed. So I don't know if you are in a situation where it feels like everything changed around you and you know, you haven't you're stuck, you haven't changed, your situation's the same, um, and it's just kind of hard to adjust. It's like, how do I move on with the world instead of getting left behind? So someone also maybe has been in jail and got released and like so much has changed since this person got out of jail. Hmm. 
someone could be going through some kind of shaming uh, something feels like humiliation or shame now in spirituality it could be some sort of a ritual If not, someone just might feel uh, some kind of shame um, for their desires. I kind of feel like somebody might be punishing themselves for what they want or desire, especially if it is something inappropriate. Somebody, um, I feel like somebody was maybe taken advantage of in their childhood and feels guilt or shame because of it. Mm. I kind of feel like maybe someone feels as if like a seed was implanted in them. Hmm. I kind of feel that someone is also feeling a way about a fetish that they might have. There's a guilt associated with it. I kind of feel in a sense that someone is like feeling guilty about things that they witnessed or experienced as a child or is currently in a situation where they're witnessing something that they don't know what to do about. It's like this shouldn't be happening, but I don't know who to tell or what to say and is struggling trying to def define was right and wrong or maybe being challenged morally mm. you could also be trying to understand your shadow side So you could also be someone who deals with a lot of people's uh, unfortunate stories, like maybe you are some sort of a counselor or therapist, especially if you're just starting out in this field, it's like you're learning as you go, like you, you understand things through the books. But now this is your first time having to uh, learn through experience. If this is about some sort of career, it seems like you're starting something new. Yeah, I feel that something about your career is new to you. Maybe you just 
changed careers or maybe you're just now getting out into the career field or maybe you've been an entrepreneur for years and now you're going out um, working a traditional job um, but I'm getting something like teacher or counselor or therapist Somebody might be working with a family therapist or needs to go to one. Also, if there's been some sort of strange behavior in your child, maybe you suspect something, but are too ashamed because you think it's your fault that you didn't notice. Um, I feel like ultimately, you know, there is something going on in your life where healing is about to begin. All right, so uh, moving on to deck number two. You have six of circles. Death. The Tower, Nine of Cups, King of Swords, Overall Energy, Nine of Staves, Five of Sacred Circle, and Four of Staves. All right, so. seems like there is something that you've been concerned about. Um, concerned about your well-being, um, your home or living situation, your finances. I feel like something is scarce. And there is this fear of losing stability or having no stability or um, no sanctuary no foundation mm. hmm and it seems like you're having to go inward to figure things out like maybe you're not asking for help uh, because you want to figure something out on your own or maybe it's pride seems like you're also dealing with any type of insecurity um, and a lot of doubt seems like you're also maybe being superstitious about something hmm In a love situation, I kind of feel that maybe someone is feeling rejected um, or did not get what they were hoping for. Like maybe you slept with somebody and then it's like, that was unsatisfying or that was not fulfilling. Like that, like you're looking for fulfillment but maybe you don't really know what you want or maybe you're just looking for it in the wrong places. Um, I do feel that if you've been feeling off, uh, things are gonna get better things are going to start to balance out for you. Mm. Now, 
still seems like you're going to have to um, prepare yourself for some sort of changes or endings. Um, and then, you know, maybe something does happen abruptly. Something just, it just changes in an instant. Mm. I'm getting mixed energy. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting like something being prescribed to you. Um, this this is what you're needed. This is what is needed for you, in in order for things to change in your life. Is something that's being given to you? It might be a gift, or it's, it's getting that vibe. It's giving that vibe of something being like both a blessing and a curse. Spiritually, you might have been given the gift of mediumship and maybe it just kind of like happens out of nowhere and you're just like suddenly a veil is removed and you're seeing a bunch of weird stuff. You're hearing a bunch of weird stuff um, and it just comes at a surprise. It's like something that just like throws you completely off guard. Um. But then eventually it looks like you learn to embrace this gift and, you know, you have to start taming or setting boundaries with these spirits that come to you. Mm. Hmm. Now, it also could be that if you've been in some sort of period of suffering um, or it seems that your life has been um, just dead or nothing happening, no life, it seems that something changes that unexpectedly. But whatever that change is, it, it seems like it's for the better because now you feel um, like there is life again uh, or joy is being restored to you. Hmm. Now, in a sense, I'm feeling like something is like striking gold. Maybe something seemed barren and then you strike gold. Hmm. Either way, I just feel like you're needing to prepare for the unexpected the best you can. Like maybe you even sense or detect that something is coming or getting ready to happen and even though you can detect it, you're still going to be thrown off guard when it happens. Hmm. I just see joy birthing from something that is negative. You might be seeing synchronicities of nine. And I feel like that is an indication of completion of some sort. Mm, Self-fulfillment. Also, if someone was having fertility issues, there is a strong possibility that um, there's going to be some sort of a breakthrough. Hmm. 
there may be something significant in regards to an air sign and a Scorpio. It could be that someone comes into your life and changes it forever. And in a sense, I feel that something is like a, a wish being fulfilled. Hmm. You might have to sign some sort of an agreement or document, or you did, but something is null and void, or there's going to be some sort of breach of contract. Um, but it also might be something that is good for you. It's like, yeah, this is null and void, but this is a good thing. I don't know too if someone lied on a document or tried to cover something up. If that is the case, I kind of feel that it's going to be exposed. Or maybe you see that you you agree to something that you can no longer be bound to. Maybe something was never real in the first place. Some sort of documents weren't real or... Mm, maybe you discover that you were manipulated into agreeing into something... Hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing something about documents or signatures. Now, you also might need a lawyer. I don't know what for. Maybe there, you'll know. I mean, if that applies to you, uh, something could be going on in your life where you already have been thinking about getting a lawyer for something. Um, so maybe you, you know, you get a lawyer. Mm. Now I'm also getting something about traveling or your vehicle. I don't know if you recently purchased a vehicle or if there was something questionable about the contract that you signed with your vehicle. There could be something significant in regards to someone's car insurance. I don't know what it is, but I don't know if someone owes you or but I don't I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe there's something significant about someone's car insurance. Or maybe you need to get it. Hmm. Spiritually, I feel that someone's been trying to get your attention um, indirectly. 
communicating with you in unusual ways, uh, especially through uh, dreams. Okay, so I see this meaning uh, playing out either way. Either an existing relationship is coming to an end soon. Um, if it's not yours, maybe somebody around you, maybe your friend is reaching out to you talking about he or she's getting a divorce or breaking up or something like that. Um, but I feel like this can play out in a relationship ending or you are entering a relationship with uh, a Scorpio or someone that changes your life forever someone who is uh, very mysterious secretive dark or wears dark colors all the time I also feel that someone is looking, they're looking or they're watching you from a distance, observing you from a distance, but they aren't saying anything. They are dead silent. Um, somebody moves like a ghost or a ninja. You might find out some sort of information in regards to an air sign um, or a fire sign. You might find out some sort of information about this person. Um, but it's like music to your ears, whatever it is that you find out. Something is like music to your ears. I'm also hearing like church bells. I don't know if someone lives near a church um, or if there is some sort of awakening that's happening with someone. And then too, I'm thinking about like Back to the Future. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, um, but there is something in the movie about the clock tower and this woman she's like save the clock tower I don't know why that is being shown to me I feel like maybe there is something significant about um, a clock or a church hmm You also might find something that you didn't expect to find. 
romantically or not even romantically but I feel like you also might find out that you and another person are uh, connected telepathically like you sh you share the same dreams or you've seen the same place in your dream like you're talking about if you're talking about dreams you both have had this dream you've seen the same thing um Maybe you're going to find out something very mind-blowing or life-altering about dreams. Um, I've told this story before. I don't know if you all heard it or who heard it. Um, but there was this one time where I had this dream that I took my best friend to a Chinese lady who was a psychic and then like I think like a week or two later my best friend told me that she had a dream that I took her to a Chinese psychic it was it was I was just like mind blown like it was so crazy um, that made me just further confirmed rather that dreams are like more so experiences um, some dreams are more intense than others but um, and some dreams do just feel like random dreams but you know, a lot of times these dreams are like places that you're actually going to, like your body is traveling and going to different places or you're experiencing something interdimensional or like a parallel life of yours. Um, yeah, but I'm feeling like two people find out that they have the same dream or have been to the same place and can give like details of this place. Mm. Also in regards to spirituality or religion, um, there could be something that you learn that really shakes your faith or completely shatters your beliefs, whatever your current beliefs are. Mm. But it still seems like this is a good thing. Like the outcome is a good outcome. You're happy about it. It also seems like you're being guided towards happiness. Um, like something's been guiding you. On a mundane level, somebody could find out about someone either going through a breakup or breaking up with somebody because you found out that they were were in a relationship. Something about three kings are standing out to me. I don't know what that means, uh, but something about three three kings or triple crown. Mm. Now also. The universe is like forcing you to change um, or to do something uncomfortable. But you're going to be glad that you did this or that this happened, even if initially this seems bad. Kind of like, you know, you got fired 
and initially you're in shock, you're frustrated, and whatever happens after that led you to where you needed to be. Maybe you found an even better job, but you wouldn't have found this job had you not got fired. Creatively, I kind of feel like you're working on something, you're studying or you're writing. You also might get some unexpected offer. It could be a job offer. Um, or it could be something in regards to your living situation. Maybe someone's offering, uh, if you're trying to sell your house and you know, you haven't gotten any snags, maybe all of a sudden, uh, someone is offering to buy your house. Um, or maybe you've been looking for a house but refuse to look outside of a certain neighborhood and then as soon as you're forced to look outside in a different neighborhood you find your dream home like something something like that is happening Now, there is something going on health-wise, like someone could be in danger health-wise, like maybe someone's blood pressure is too high or someone is having heart issues and needs to rest. It does seem that there could be some unexpected news in regards to an air sign. Hmm. It's possible that either you've been thinking about an air sign a lot or they've been thinking about you. Someone might be covering up a broken heart. You also might likely try to figure out um, it's something that you're trying to figure out maybe about your health or finances. And I feel that you're going to get the clarity that you needed or you're going to figure something out. If you've been wondering what's been blocking your finances, it seems that you um, come to the realization of why You've been having blocked finances. Hmm. Kind of feels too like you find out the truth about someone who you thought was your friend or associate and this person could be an air sign or a fire sign. 
the truth i don't know it could be good it could be bad but it just seems like you're going to find out the truth about them or maybe they're the ones giving you some sort of truth about someone hmm i think you're finding a truth about them or some about something though all right so let's move on to deck number three You have the Four of Wands, the Queen of Cups, Judgment, Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, Overall Energy, King of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the devil. Mm. Okay, so I kind of feel that someone's been obsessing. Um, either you've been obsessing over someone or they've been obsessing over you, this person could be a Capricorn or an Earth sign. Um, I'm sorry, Capricorn or a fire sign. And I kind of feel too like maybe someone has been held back from coming forward. Whoever is about to approach you in love, I feel that um, maybe this person has been codependent on something where they couldn't get to you. Um, maybe this person was stuck in another relationship um, or going through something toxic themselves or karmic, or maybe someone has been going through some sort of healing process where they need they were addicted to uh drugs or alcohol or had some type of codependency um but i feel like there's going to be some sort of a breakthrough mm. I feel like the person coming towards you is um, mature. I feel like this person's, um, if they're not an older person, then they have like an old soul or just like this high maturity level. Mm. I feel like this person also has tattoos I feel like they have like this shadow side to them. Um, someone is also low key an artist. Mm, I feel like this person is very artistic with the hands. Mm, but I feel like it's a secret. Like this, people don't know this about them. But I feel like somebody is getting ready to open up their arms to you. Like initially their arms were folded or they were like closed off. Um, maybe this person has a hard time trusting people. But I feel like this person trusts you and I feel like they're coming forward. Mm. There's going to be an opportunity to correct the past as well. So um, maybe this person... Maybe you and this person share a past. If not in this life, then another life. Um, or maybe this person had an opportunity to approach you but never did. Seems like they're going to have that opportunity again. Um, or maybe you're the one. Maybe you had an opportunity um, to pursue someone or respond to someone. And now that opportunity is back. And yeah. So... For a lot of you, this might be an opportunity for love. Uh, maybe you've already been seeing signs um, or you had a feeling that 
your love life was about to become activated. Um, and now something does seem like it's finally happening. You also may have been patiently waiting for something to happen romantically in your life, but you've been going through um, this shadow period and just kind of like navigating through darkness. And um, that part of your life could be over now. Um, in fact, anything that was suffocating you or holding you back, it seems like you're going to be released from whatever that was. And you're having an opportunity to start fresh. Mm. If you're in an existing relationship, it's kind of like you guys are stuck together. But at the same time, you love each other and you will likely be um, moving forward together in some way. Or maybe you're ready um, to make some sort of commitment to each other or take the relationship to the next step, whatever that is. Maybe you already live together, but maybe now you guys are ready to have a child or, you know, just seems like an existing relationship is ready to possibly move forward. Um, now, every now and then it still indicates like more of an ending than a beginning. Um, so if you felt trapped in a relationship, it's possible that maybe you guys are leaving that situation behind and, you know, going on this new journey of self-love could be that too. Career-wise, there's also the possibility of, of someone getting to pursue their passions or their dreams. Uh, it seems that something, a window of opportunity is opening up to you. And I feel like you're going through that, that window. You're like, I'm, I'm taking it. And it just seems like now is a good time for you to pursue this dream. I feel like somebody from the other side is helping or assisting you. If you've been feeling a lack of foundation in your life, it seems like maybe there's going to be some stabilization pretty soon. Someone definitely seems to be having romantic feelings for you. Um, could be a water sign, uh, like I said, or a fire or Capricorn. But somebody seems to be having those romantic feelings for you. Um, someone might find themselves being very expressive or uh, romantic. You might see a sensitive side to someone. Hmm. Now, it also kind of looks like you're inviting someone into your life or into your home. Either way, it gives someone permission. Um, that always makes me think of like the vampire movies when when you invite a vampire into your home, they, you know, they have access to your home anytime after that. So I don't know. And it's funny because this, even though this is the devil, they look like a bat. Um, they could like fly in through your, fly into your window um, and you invite this person into your home. And then after that, they just kind of like, come whenever they want. But the overall energy, I know that sounds like a scary description, <laughs> but the overall energy feels good, but we'll see with the clarifiers. Um,
also just any opportunity that maybe you feel you missed um, is coming back around. There's going to be second chances to do things. Okay, so I'm getting the energy of soon. Something is happening soon. There's a possibility that someone is leaving a job or leaving... Um, their home. Mm. I kind of feel that something is also official. Could have been too that you were waiting for permission for something. Um, you wanted to do something but you couldn't because you didn't have permission. Um, but now I feel like you have clearance. You're able to let go or you're able to leave. Mm. Someone also may be ready for a life of commitment. I still see this playing out either way. Either someone is ready for a life of commitment and their single life is uh, dying or transitioning to relationship, marriage, uh, or someone who was in a committed relationship is ready to let it go or end it. could be moving or relocating. If you have an altar, you might be offering something to your ancestors. Kind of feels like someone is also going to share a secret with you um, because they trust you or they feel comfortable enough to share this with you or maybe there is someone that you're getting ready to share a secret with mm. I feel that someone is your soulmate maybe you're going to get confirmation of that If you've been blocking someone, uh, I'm getting something about a blockage that's being removed. So I don't know if someone blocked you or 
made their page private or vice versa, but either way, I feel like it's being removed. Spiritually, I feel that someone on the other side has been trying to get your attention um, or trying to distract you. Hmm. In regards to some relationships, somebody has been living a lie or a relationship has been a facade or a cover-up but I feel like somebody is ready to leave the shadows of a relationship or that illusion of a relationship somebody's ready to let that go Getting the energy too of finding, finding something, finding fulfillment. Um, you could be on some sort of a quest, trying to find peace and trying to find fulfillment in your life, and I feel like you're gonna find it. For some of you, it has to do with relocating someplace far like a new city uh, or state rather but someplace really far away Something is all in divine timing, too. It's like something couldn't be forced. Um, so I feel like you're headed towards this new beginning, but it's all organic. And this is something that's been in a long time making as well. If you became an overnight success, it would just seem that way, but it's like technically it's something that you've already been working on or something has been in the works for a long time. But when it finally happens, it looks like it happened out of the blue or like it just looks like overnight success. If you were not ready for some sort of ability or gift that you have. I feel like you're ready for it now. You're ready to receive it or use it. I feel like somebody's also giving something to you because they love you genuinely or they deeply care about you. Somebody might offer something to you out of love. It could be a job. Um, or maybe somebody's giving you a gift. Mm. I'm 
also getting that you could make a living doing what you love. You're going to get the opportunity to do that. Someone may have had to go through a healing process and now they're healed. I just feel like somebody uh, gets their strength back or has like a full recovery. Mm. Also, if you've been working on yourself for a long time, um, I kind of feel that the universe feels that you're ready for love. So there will be opportunities to love again. You might show like a healthy, um, you might have a healthy uh, expression of self-love or like you understand self-love. Something is like healthy, like this is, this is what, love is like or for yourself so because you understand or have like a healthy love for yourself and you have your own individual life now you're ready to share your life with someone so it just seems like you know in a nutshell maybe you had to go through some sort of healing process um even if you felt like you had healed years ago like something's like nope okay now you're ready so i feel like there's a strong possibility that you could be finding love because you're ready for it now. Mm. And the next relationship that you enter, I feel, will be an example of healthy love. It's like, okay, this is what healthy love feels like. This is what mutual love feels like. And then something also just seems like the perfect blend Maybe you were looking for a love that wasn't 100% boring or safe, but you also didn't want a love that was, you know, full of passion and chaos. This is like the perfect balance. If someone has been trying to approach you for a while now, but didn't have the courage, I feel like now they do. I don't know I'm seeing a, a really beautiful painting so I don't know if someone is painting themselves uh, especially if it was a hidden talent or a gift or if someone is giving you a painting or yeah so I'm just seeing something significant about a beautiful painting Depending on someone's financial status or their social status, especially if someone is like rich, I feel like someone might receive um, a gift. It's a painting by a famous artist, um, possibly Basquiat. I'm also getting something like a housewarming gift. Something is like a housewarming gift. Or you could also be invited to someone's housewarming party. Mm. And then going back to someone on the other side, um, I feel like they're trying to tell you something about your love life, uh, but maybe they've been trying to tell you through 
like scanning songs or like do your dreams like it's some way that this person they've been trying to make contact with you to tell you something about your love life also someone on the other side might be trying to express that they miss you You also might find a way to turn your personal pain into art. Also, if you didn't know it, I feel like you're very talented. Right, so those are all the messages that I have for you guys. Hopefully some things resonated. Thank you guys for watching. Sending love and grace.